Hey there everybody, I'm so glad to see you here again and what's new in your life? I hope that everything is fine. Yes, I'm a Russian man who brings value through my own experiences and today we're gonna watch one video that was recommended by Matthew Kleber. It is our viewer and uh, he's from America, I think so, yes. And uh, today we're gonna watch uh, Cotton and uh, Chick Watts, uh, Blackface means real show comedy why do we watch it today because uh, matthew said that uh, this video will show you will show me how black people were portrayed in america and uh, let's do this uh, maybe it will be interesting maybe not uh, maybe i will understand it maybe not in the final i will tell my my thoughts about it and you can leave in the comment section below your opinion about this and maybe some comments what i will not understand in your perspective let's go having fun <laughs> have fun my dear viewer a clip from yes sir mr bones part of the showtime usa dvd collection from vci entertainment okay yes sir mr Two quiet people, Cotton Watts and Chick. Well, oh, lay there, lay there, lay there. Let that be a lesson to you. What's the matter with you boys shooting up that man's hen house? I'll shoot. Why is he so black? Is it a white person? Or uh, what? Shoot any chicken trying to follow me home. Well, why don't you get a job and go to work? Y'all had me a job this morning. Where? I went down to the post office and that man couldn't let me have one of them jobs as a letter total. No. I can't understand him. Uh, let's speak. Uh, let's say it again from the beginning. I will also will use subtitles, okay? Now, two quiet people, Cotton Watts and Chick. Well, Cotton Watts and Chick. <laughs> Cotton Watts is a male. Let that be a lesson to you. What's the matter with you? Like, uh, take it easy, take it easy, man. Yes, lay there, it means, maybe. Boy, shooting up that man's hen house. I'll shoot any chicken trying to follow me home. Well, why don't you get a job and go to work? Y'all had me a job this morning. Where? I went down to the post office and that, that man couldn't let me have one of them jobs as a letter total. Letter total, like a post office of... Um, of uh, Charles Bukowski. No, Cotton, you mean a mail carrier. And the man said for you to give me a situation, he'd have to put me through a simple syrup examination. Syrup examination. What? What is that? Uh... No, stupid. You mean a civil service examination. Well, a man carried me in a little room and set me down and started asking me a gang of questions. Well, what did he ask you? First thing the man asked me is, how far is it from the sun to the moon? He to the moon, uh, 150, one, 150 million kilometers. One moment. The, how much is it from moon to the sun? Sun. 150 mi... Yes, the moon on average is about 150 mi million kilometers. Yes, I'm so smart in this. I was learning astro astrology in astronomy in my school when I was 16. Ask you how far it was from the sun to the moon? Yeah, that's what the man asked me. Well, what'd you tell him? I told him he was going to give me that route. I didn't want to do. <laughs> Again? Ah, like if uh, he will give him like a direction from this point, uh, from moon to the sun, then it will be, then he don't want to go to this job because it is so long. But maybe it was intellectual skills, intelligence uh, check. <laughs> How would you like to go to work for me? Yeah! Ma'am, how much you gonna pay? Ma'am, pay me. I hope. Well, let's see now. Mm -hmm. I'll pay you all your work. No, ma'am, I gotta have some. How he speaks? He speaks as a Patrick from SpongeBob. I'm Patrick. Yeah, man. Money. Money. You know, Cotton. I make a 
making a picture called the lion tamer. The lion tamer? Uh -huh. There ain't but one kind of lion I'll mess with. What kind's that? Ooh, that's a dandelion. <laughs> <laughs> now, all I want you to do is meet me at the zoo in the morning at 9 o'clock. Yeah, with the rest of the monkeys. With the rest of the monkeys. Yeah, I'll bring my grandpa with me. I want to get a moving picture of you in the lion's cage. Well, if you ever do get a picture of me in the lion's cage, it'll be moving all right. Oh, Cotton, the lion can't hurt you. Can't hurt me. Now, nobody can make me hurt myself. Why, the lion's tame. He'll eat right off your hand. Eat off of your hand uh -huh. and over of your leg, too. I know them cats. Oh, uh, but you don't understand, Cotton. The lion was raised on milk. Raised on milk? Uh -huh. I was too, but I eat pork chops now. Why, he can't bite you. Now, how come he can't bite me? He hasn't got a tooth in his head. I know, but he can gum me to death. I don't want him gnawing on me. Now, all I want to do is snap you as you enter the lion's cage. You just want to snap me as I enter? Yes. Well, you better snap me as I enter, because you will never be able to focus me when I start out, because I'm Alabama bound. Nice dance. We didn't have this type of comedy in Russia. Maybe we had, but I don't understand it correct. It what this all was about? We have a black person who is a white person, I think, and he colored his face with uh, black uh, black paints because uh, you can see it is a not black person, yes. And uh, they were speaking about something like. Firstly about job and then about their date, then you can meet me in a zoo. And uh, on zoo, on the zoo, they will meet each other like on lion's cage. I didn't understand it, uh, guys. Uh, if you can help me like a small brief case of it, a small brief story of it, uh, it will be really helpful. What I understood that uh, they made a fool of this black person, maybe, but uh, he doesn't give a darn, 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 how to say darn, 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 he doesn't give a darn about it and uh, he continued dancing as all black people do, at least Michael Jackson does, okay, and uh, thank you a lot for watching, have a wonderful day and I'm so so glad that you were with me right now watching it. Thank you a lot for Matthew again for recommendation it. I I don't know how to say it um, correct about it because uh, oh Jesus we have six thousand uh, dislikes. Why? Let's uh, let's read a bit of uh, let's read about uh, comments. Americans, them Hitler is such a racist. Also Americans <laughs> and shows this. Yes, maybe it is a racist thing. Kids these days, OMG, OMG, I was like totally born in the wrong generation. What has this world come to? I wish I could live in the past. The past. <laughs> Meet me at the zoo at 9 o'clock with the rest of the monkeys. I'll bring my grandma with me. Jesus Christ. I didn't understand this too, <laughs> like, meet me at the zoo at 9 o'clock. Okay, they decided to meet each other at 9 o'clock with the rest of the monkeys. Like, uh... ah, he was joking about his grandpa, yes? Rare footage of Jimmy Kimmel's early career. Jimmy Kimmel, one moment, who is it?
Jimmy Kimmel. He is an uh, American television host, comedian, writer and producer. Why is it uh, about him? They're, they really named him Cotton. <laughs> cotton means like he's on a cotton uh, factory. Like uh, cotton, it is where all black people worked. I, am I wrong? Am I right? Previously, in a way of slavery. Like, I can't even be mad BC be, because it's not embarrassing us African Americans, it's embarrassing white folks because they was very stupid for thinking this way, this was funny. Yes, I don't understand it too. The dialogue is incredibly mean, I wonder why they hated them so much, it's very peculiar. Yes, I want to say that I'm tolerant and uh, I don't want to be mean to about this. I think that... Uh, if it was a joke about this person because of his color of skin, it is not a really nice uh, joke about him. And right now, all the jokes, all jokes uh, that we see about black people are uh, funnier, one hundred percent. But no, it means that we are not laughing at uh, black people. The, I mean that stand-up careers uh, like Dave Chappelle sometimes do jokes about black people, and uh, they are kind of funny. They are not like a to to make this person lower on a position. Well, I got to have some money. Oh wow, that joke was dark. Well, I got to have some money. I didn't understand it. So, this is so incredibly un uncomfortable, Casey wrote it. Somebody is the great uh, grandson of this guy, lol. The I'm neither offended or not offended. I'm just trying to figure out what I watched the end of Evangelion was easier to understand than this. <laughs> Evangelion, it is um, anime. English. No, it is... Uh, this song from Evangelion. Okay, thank you a lot for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it again. And uh, always improve cell daily. Don't be rude to another people. Or share kindness, please. Kindness is a biggest asset that we can have in our life. Yes, share it.